Hi scholars, today is May the 10th, 2020, and I want to wish you a great week this week and also invite you back to the expression wall. A couple weeks ago I read this book, perhaps you've heard it here or maybe you heard it from someone else. And this book is all about words that we can collect. It's so important that we're constantly adding new words to our vocabulary. And our teachers, your teachers, have been, we meet at least three times a week together in these learning communities where we're learning from each other as we're navigating these new uncharted waters of distance learning and we're sharing information that we've learned and then we're going back out and trying new things and coming back together. And so I'd like to give a shout out to Ms. Kewen and Ms. Dr. Shepard because they have got me thinking about this word, translanguaging. Translanguaging. I can't believe I've never heard it. It's the idea that a person who speaks more than one language is going to think best and do their best when they're offered opportunities in both or all languages they speak. For example, a student might be thinking in Spanish, but they might be reading in English. They might be sharing it with another student in Spanish. They might be writing it in English. So they're transcending between all their languages. I wish I'd known that sooner, but I didn't, and now I do. So that would be the word that I'm gonna put on the expression wall for this week. And I wanna invite you to think about all of the new words that you've been using in the last two months. I can think of so many since this pandemic, there's one, has started. All of the new words, the new terms that we're hearing and we're using freely are so different than the way that we talked a couple months ago. Even on social media, in the news, out with our friends, with our family, at the grocery store, it's everywhere. It's almost a, just a new vocabulary. So I wanna invite you to think about some new words that you've been using and add them to our expression wall. Before we do that, let's see what our friends in New York City are up to. So when I go out to the Padlet, there's our J.L. Kelly. I'm gonna pull up the seventh grade expression wall from New York. Remember, New York is experiencing the COVID-19 virus far greater than we are here in Arkansas. And so <laughs> they've got some of their comforts still here. Um, origami being made, some maps, lots of pictures of pets and technology that are bringing them comfort, their Xbox, some drinks. Somebody's sewing, stuffed animals. There's a great selfie of someone. Instruments, phones. So you can certainly get inspiration from these guys too and add anything like this to our expression wall. When you go out to the schedule, then it will pull up from Ms. Hader. And we'll open that document. And we have the Padlet right here. So you kind of have to hold over it. There's a really loud airplane going over my house right now. And it will pop up eventually. Remember to click on that heart up there in the corner and turn it yellow and it will give you notifications when people have posted. So as this pops up, remember too, you'll click on that pink circle in the corner with the plus mark. That will allow you to post. I've already posted here and I spelled it wrong, so I'm going to be fixing that shortly. But I wanna show you how I'm gonna add a video. So I'm going to edit and I'm gonna to go to these three dots and I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm gonna type in translanguaging. And this is one that I watched that was really short. So I'm just gonna throw that in there in case if anybody wants inf more information. It's a really long word. And then I'm gonna hit save. Remember to, you can click on the three dots at the top and change the color. So I'm kind of thinking green would be good for this one. So again, uh, maybe this week you want to think about all of the words you've been collecting since we've been social distancing and in quarantine and think about some that you would like to add to our wall 
and maybe you can find a picture that goes with it or maybe you can draw a picture. You can draw in Padlet in case you didn't know that. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and a great week. Stay well and stay centered. Namaste.